In this problem, we're asked to use De Morgan's theorem and express the function f is equal to a times b naught c plus a naught times c naught plus a times b. We have the following chart to the right. It's from a previous video and from a previous previous video that's not mine. And that we know complement means inverted. So we're going to look at part a with only or and complement operations, part b with only and and complement operations in part C with only NAND and complement operations. So starting off part A, we have A times B naught times C. Now we need to invert this, so we're going to have A naught times B times C naught. And since this is totally opposite, we can't just pull these out of thin air. We need to have a naught over it. So basically now we have A naught naught, B naught, and then C naught naught, which is the same thing as what we had for a naught times b naught times c. Now we have this a naught times c naught, and we can look at De Morgan's theorem, and we see that it's equal to the first one. So we're going to rewrite this as a plus b, and we have a naught operator over it. So this is going to be what we have, and we can add it into our overall equation. Next, we are going to look at the a times b. So for a times b, it's similar to the second De Morgan theorem. And we can rewrite this as a plus b. We need to have our knots over this though. So when we write them in, we are going to do as we did kind of in the first part, where we write our knots here, but we can't just pull them out of nowhere, so we have to have a knot on top of this. We're now going to over add this to our overall equation. We have a naught plus b naught with the naught over all of it. And that is the answer to part a with only or in complement operations. Now for part b, we have with only and in complement operations. So starting this off, we're going to negate f twice, and then we'll write this in here. We will set this equal to our function that's being negated twice. However, we're not going to just have two negation bars over top the entire thing. We will have one atop everything. However, one is going to be um, for each individual part. So not like this, that would be wrong. We are going to have it like this. And note currently that the function is just how it was. We're just adding the two not bars over them. And so that is the answer for part b with only and and complement operations. Now we can look at part c with only nand and complement operations. Well nand is just the logical knot of and. Basically the same thing so we can really just copy this all and paste it in here and this would be the correct answer for our nand.